Hey ho, my name is Sobi. I'm a lover of the sea and everything in it. Plus, I'm a scuba instructor. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so there's many ways for non-divers to get introduced into the underwater world. And one of those things is called a tri-dive or an introduction dive. If you want to know what to look out for, if you just want to give scuba diving a go, just keep on watching. Try diving or introduction diving is nothing new. It's been around for a very, very long time. And it's basically a very simple way to introduce non-divers to the underwater world and to the activity of scuba diving. You don't have to take like any lessons. It's just back up and go. Opinions within the dive industry, if this is a good way or a bad way to introduce people to scuba diving, they differ. But you as a consumer wouldn't know anything about that discussion, which mostly take part online in like all sorts of forums and Facebook pages. So for you as a consumer, what do you need to look out for when you book one of these try dive scuba experiences? I can be very short and sweet about this. The only thing that really matters to you as a consumer is safety. Before you go diving they will probably make you sign a statement that says you will take all responsibility to whatever is happening to you read it read it carefully and if you have questions ask them but we don't know any lawyers all our friends make sandwiches if you're not happy with the answers you're getting don't dive so what are safety things to consider for you as a consumer that you can very easily spot or ask for how deep are you going super important Without being all technical, atmospheric pressure doubles between 0 and 10 meters on your body. So basically the safest depth would be for you to be somewhere between 0 and 5 meters. This is where the smallest pressure change happens. And people say, oh, that's not diving. It's the safest place for you to dive. To enjoy your first experience of being underwater, breathing underwater, seeing marine life, and basically not really anything that can harm you pressure related if you have to swim to the surface in case of panic or whatever if you can count to three in your head you can make it to the surface surface are you diving in a large group or are you diving like solo or in a duo let's think about this for a second when you dive in a group there's probably one instructor or a dive master and they have to keep an eye on everybody in that group if something happens on this side you cannot really see what's happening on that side nothing wrong with diving in a group but with beginners it's always safer to dive in the smallest group possible so either one-on-one -on -one, one instructor one diver or one instructor two divers in case of emergency i can use these two hands for either one person or I use my two hands for two people. Okay, this is weird, but I mean inflators. Another thing to consider, are you being held or are you free floating? For you, the consumer, to be free actually translates to a whole bunch of unpredictable scenarios. Meaning, how do you respond to marine life you encounter? Or are you kicking so hard that nobody can see anything anymore? Many, many unpredictable things happen when you are free so basically holding is a good option for you and the instructor and if done correctly you won't even feel a thing that's what he said help try diving or the tea bagging method actually gives the instructor full control over the dive and he or she is in the perfect position to spot any issues during the dive in case of any issues he or she is also in the perfect position to take you to the surface and keep you safely there. So-called teabagging is a very popular way to do introduction dives or try dives in the industry. Besides that, teabagging is also a method we use for people that are physically impaired to take them underwater. Safe. Okay, so those are things that fall under safety uh, that you could ask or look out for. I have to add, you as a non-diver who really wants to go scuba diving, you have to be reasonable. Are you afraid of water? Don't go. Do you have any health issues like asthma, epilepsy, heart problems? Are you obese? Don't go. This is putting so much unnecessary risk on your instructor, the dive center and yourself. Because in the end we want you to like this activity. We want you to sign up for a course, get your license and dive the world. It's amazing. Absolutely. Okay, so now you know what to look out for if you are on holiday and you want to have that first very simple scuba experience. You can do a try dive or teabag. Just ask your questions, 
and be safe. Have fun scuba diving wherever it is that you go. Let me know down in the comments if you already did it. What was your first experience? Was it any good? What did you see? I'm very curious to hear all about it. Either here in the comments or anywhere else on social. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!